so I decided to come on live I don't know if anybody's around so if anybody will be watching and I'm new to this and I don't really know what I'm doing so <laughs> please be patient if you are here watching um, I can't tell and I don't know where to look and there's lots of things popping up on my screen <laughs> um, yeah so I don't normally come on and do lives normally I do YouTube videos and things like that but my guidance was to come on and do something live for a change so if you are there watching um, please let me know because I don't know and I can't can't see it's not showing me for some reason I thought it did sometimes show but it isn't so maybe there's nobody there but if there is somebody there please comment <laughs> so that I know okay so um, I felt guided to come on and do a live video because I know we've been having lots of lovely chats on the page and a bit of a joke and you know about how intense the energies are and how epic it all is and I know collectively we're going through a dark night of the soul and a huge clearing because um, another wave of people have elected to wake up and to leave um, third dimension and come and join us all in the fourth. <laughs> so we're all kind of um, going through this readjustment and this this change as people start to have to face, you know, some of their traumas. And we're still probably dealing with ours as well. You know, we haven't all let them let all of our traumas go yet because it's it's difficult, isn't it? And there's a lot to work through. And many of us feel that we are being um, further traumatized by life <laughs> as we're trying to heal from traumas. So what I wanted to do was share with you all a little practice that's really good and was gifted to me by the universe and is one that I've used myself and has worked really, really well for me, like really well, you know, it's, it's made such a huge difference and it's very, very simple, very quick and very easy and you can do it as many times a day or night as you want. I recommend you do it just as you're trying to go off to sleep. It helps with sleep and it also works overnight whilst you're sleeping. So it's like a little Brucey bonus there for us all. So what happened, how this came about, how I got this practice was that um, because I had so much trauma, I also had, you know, an ego that was kind of battling a bit with my soul about healing. And the reason for that is because if you've got more trauma, you know, basically the ego is the voice of your wounds and it's just directing you to the healing of them so that you can um, ascend, essentially heal them and release them and then just become your true self. So it's kind of, um, in that sense, it's a guide on the path. And I know it gets a bad rap, doesn't it? The ego within spiritual communities, but it's actually very handy. And mine, because I had such a lot, you know, I've had a very, very long history of trauma and abuse. Um, mine was quite, you know, it had quite a grip at one t stage. So that's how this came about, because I noticed that healing was more difficult for me because my ego was trying to interfere. And of course, it can't ever interfere because it's not in charge. <laughs> the soul's in charge, but it doesn't know that. And so it can get you into like little battles and things like that. So that was what was happening for me when I was in dark night of the soul or trying to um, heal things. You know, if healing was coming up for me, it often felt like war because my my ego had quite a grip. And what how that was playing out was I was trying to assign meaning to what was happening to me. So I was always trying to understand it, analyze it, extract the lesson from it, that kind of thing. And what I want to say is something that we often forget, that is anything that we need to know, any wisdom that we need, any lessons that we need to learn, we will learn them irrespective of wherever we go looking for them. So we don't ever have to extract wisdom. We don't ever have to go looking for the lesson. We don't ever have to analyse or assign meaning to what's happening because anything that we need to know, we will always be gifted. And isn't that just, if you even just feel into that for a moment, that's very freeing, isn't it? You know, anything, it's a little mantra that's coming actually, anything that I need to know, 
any wisdom that I need to garner, any lessons that I want to extract, I don't need to because they will be gifted to me. So anything that you need will be gifted to you in the moment that you need it. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> Great. So you don't have to do anything. Brilliant. <laughs> Been let off the hook. Don't need to do anything. That's what we want, isn't it? More of that, please. And so because my, my ego was trying to do this, I needed like a little um, a little way around it to stop it from doing that. And so the universe gifted me this practice that I'm going to share with you all now. And it's a very short and easy practice. And it's one that anybody can do. It does involve angels. But if you don't believe in angels or you just don't resonate with them, you can swap it out for something else or just drop them all together. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. And so this is something that I do at night when I'm going to sleep. And it also can be like a little add-on to you know, any meditation you do or anything that you do during the day to support yourself, you can add this in as well, you know, so it's great. It's a good sandwich, actually. So kind of, you know, as you're dropping asleep and when you wake up in the morning, it's great to do this practice. Okay, it's very simple and very easy. So I will share it with you now. So you just want to really kind of make sure that you're somewhere where you're not going to be disturbed. Um, pause this video if you need to and come back to it somewhere don't be don't be driving <laughs> definitely don't do that um oh i just got a pop-up saying it's experiencing connection issues oh, i do have problems with my internet so it's not saying my internet isn't saying there's any problems so i don't know if you can hear me or not i don't even know if anybody's watching but if anybody's watching, if you can let me know if it's coming across okay or if it's, hopefully it's it sounds all right and you can hear me, um, let me know anyway because if not I'll have to come back and maybe do a YouTube video or something. Okay, so you want to kind of do this practice. You need to not be driving, be somewhere where you won't be disturbed. It's a very short practice so you don't need a long time. And you don't need to be relaxed or anything like that, although that would help. Okay, so all I want you to do is just, just come home to yourself. I just want you to draw your attention away from analysing, assigning meanings to things, trying to find the wisdom, the lesson, Trying to search ahead of time for when the end of feeling like this will be. And away from any distractions. And just calling all those parts back now. All that awareness that is yours. Just calling it back home to self. And just letting those parts of awareness arrive back with you now. And as those parts of awareness arrive back with you now, we can just tell them, thank you. But I don't need to be aware of this now. I just need to be with myself. And just tell yourself that. I'm here now. I'm here with you now. I'm fully focused and my attention is here with you now. And just offer yourself that reassurance. And then what you need to do is just allow yourself to be open. And it doesn't, you know, it, if you're one of those people that doesn't like to be too open or, or maybe you're feeling defensive in some way, that's okay. Because you can just open a tiny, tiny bit. It doesn't have to be massively wide open. Just open. And then I call in angels and I use an old, an old way of calling them in. So this is a very old beginning to a prayer that I use. And it's in the name of the I am that I am, which means you are in me. I am the universe. We are all one. In the name of the I am that I am, I call upon the archangels and their legions of light. 
and I ask them to pour their unconditional love all the way through my being now. All the way through. And just allowing that unconditional love to be peaceful and calming, soothing, nurturing, nourishing, to be anything that it needs to be and just let that come in now. And it can come in through your crown chakra or it might just come in some other ways. It's okay. We don't need to know how or why. And just accepting that unconditional love now and that peace and that calm. Angels just flow that unconditional love through my mind, my body, my thoughts, my emotions, all my cells and atoms all my organs and spread that unconditional love around me, outside me like a cocoon and hold me. And just let the angels do that for you now. And can you feel them? And then we just say, angels, please stay with me and keep pouring this unconditional love through the entirety of my being, all parts of me, every cell, every atom, through my thoughts, through my awareness, through my focus, through my body, through my soul, through my spirit, through my emotions. Just letting that unconditional love be whatever it needs to be for you in this moment. And just accepting it. And just letting it hold you through. Whatever you're going through. And just allowing that unconditional love to keep pouring through. Thank you, angels, for continually pouring your unconditional love, peace and calm through every part of me now. Thank you. And just feel that. And just accept it. If you feel like you need more, you just invite the angels back. Angels, keep pouring your unconditional love throughout the entirety of my being, all parts of me. Including the parts I don't know about or don't accept. All the way through me. And just let them do that. And just see how soothing that is and how you recognise and realise in this moment that you don't need to know anything. There's nothing that you need to do. Nothing. You can just be and rest in this unconditional love and allow the unconditional love to do it for you. Thank you, unconditional love, for doing the things I don't want to do. Thank you. Thank you, unconditional love, for gifting me all that I need in every moment that I need it, without me needing to do anything. Thank you. Hi Lindsay, I can see you on here. Thank you so much for joining and for commenting. It's lovely to have you here. Welcome. Just 
take a moment to just allow that to become that unconditional love to become your reality now at all times in all ways forever because this is the truth and anything that your ego went searching for grappling with attempting wasn't the truth and because it wasn't the truth we can just let it wash away in the unconditional love and we don't even need to do anything and see how even the ego is comforted by this unconditional love because that's all that it seeks and so we give it to it and when we give it unconditional love like this it is born back in through the light of our soul it comes back out shiny and polished and sparkly and not as raw <laughs> as it was just let that unconditional love keep flowing and anchoring now. So I hope that that helps you and you can come back to this video anytime to do that practice whenever you want or adapt it for yourselves. And I also just wanted to speak a little bit about the nervous system. Because in times like this when it's intense, and when we're healing things, our nervous systems get very dysregulated and we might be so used to that that we might not even know it's dysregulated or we might be like me and know it's dysregulated but have tried a million things and they don't work. And so what happened with me was, you know, I tried all the things that, oh, by the way, are very, very good. So I'm not saying that any of these things are good, they're excellent. And please do try them if you haven't tried them because they might be what's right for you. But I'm just going to share what wasn't right for me and the reason why because it might help you okay so what happened with me was you know I have a very dysregulated nervous system I've had an awful lot of trauma and I'm neurodivergent which means that naturally my nervous system is more sensitive than a neurotypical nervous system because our neurodivergent nervous systems are actually designed to be more sensitive so we can spot what's what's not quite right in the world so we can change it so you know often I'm in pain and I get like stinging and burning when mine's very dysregulated which I've had a lot of recently and it can be really really frightening and I can become so ill that I don't eat and I you know I can, my hair's been coming out and things like that and so we have to find ways to regulate our nervous system and this is great even if you don't experience it as severe as that or maybe even if you're experiencing it more severe than that it doesn't matter it's really healthy to always be looking after our nervous system the nervous system is very closely linked into the ego and to the inner child because the inner child is kind of um as the light side of it is the playful creative side and the dark shadow side is the kind of the wounded I want my own way <laughs> so it's very closely related to the ego in that sense and it's also um, part of the nervous system it uses the nervous system to talk to us okay so it's telling us all the time through our nervous system I'm unhappy a bit like a baby or a child would do I'm unhappy I need this something's off you know so nervous system reg regulation is really key to our well-being what I found was I was trying um, and I still do do some of these because some of them have benefits for my body and mind, but maybe not for my nervous system. And it's just trial and error. But for me, you know, I was trying somatic practices, neuro, um, sensory exercises, breath work, meditation, yoga, mindfulness practices, positive affirmations, supplements. I mean, honestly, um, you know, I've tried a lot, an awful lot of things for my nervous system that haven't really worked for me now all of those things are excellent by the way so please look into them and, and like I say it's trial and error so I'm absolutely not saying to people not to do them what I'm saying is you need to find your own way but this might just resonate with you if and I guess if you're here now watching then it will in some way 
I'm a very spiritual and energetic person. So generally speaking, I'm not very somatic anyway. I'm not very bodily. I mean, you can probably tell from the meditation I've just done. I'm quite mystical. I'm up, you know, I'm up in the ethers. <laughs> I'm in, you know, wandering through different realms. And I think lots of spiritual people um, are like that. And so, you know, some of the somatic exercises and, and, and other things maybe don't quite work as well as recognizing that we're sensual so i'm a very sensual person so you know i'm very into sound affects me light affects me sense affect affect me touch you know i'm quite sensitive like that and so because i'm very sensual I, to regulate my nervous system i can't do anything in my body because that's just like another shock <laughs> to the body you know to the nervous system so what i've had to do is develop my own practice and this is i got gifted another practice um through the universe which has been so good for me and this is one that i've got over in my shop it's a meditation that you can buy um i think it's 10 pounds um have a look anyway i'll put the link if i can work out what i'm doing with this um live video i'll put the link somewhere in the comments or somewhere on my page and you can go and purchase that and it's actually like a um if you like the unconditional love with the angels it's kind of like a, a slightly deeper practice very similar but deeper practice that you can do to regulate your nervous system and this is what i use all the time because my nervous system is so out of whack and when it's out of whack you know it can actually give you serious chronic illnesses and things which i have a long list of so it's really good to get get it regulated so if that would interest you it's over in my shop on new monday i will try and work out what on earth i'm doing and how to put a link on i don't know if i can do that now for you all and you can go and get it and you can download it and then you can listen to it um, as many times as you want or need to and you can own that and that for me that nervous system practice is very similar to the unconditional love of the angels that i've just done with you all but it, it for me it's just a bit deeper because it's actually getting into the brain and the nervous system um which is where a lot of our trauma plays out yeah so we really want to kind of be going in there and giving it as much love and care as we can so if that interests you, I will put a link up somewhere. I don't know where or how, but I will. I promise I'll find a way and I will put that there for you. And for those of you, I know, Lindsay, I can see that you've joined me. So thank you so much and for commenting. And I can see you've tagged Melissa. I don't know if you're if you're watching Melissa, but lots of love to you anyway. And thank you so much for watching. I hope this really helps you um, and you can feel a lot better for using it as a great practice to get us through these dark times okay as always my love is with you all and um yeah let's go lightly hey let's go lightly and be good to each other lots of love thanks so much for watching oh hello Yvonne if you were watching as well lots of love to you thank you so much Lindsay okay so you guys take care and I'll be back